Hello, how's it going? I'm Isaiah, and guess what? We're going to be doing our top five Game Boy Advance games. I know. Hopefully you played some cool Game Boy Advance games. And if you have anything that's not our, in our top five, comment below. Maybe we'll like it. Maybe I already have it in my collection. Well, maybe Cody already played it and just didn't tell me. But anyway, so our top five. My fifth one is Drill Dozer. The reason why I like this game so much is, one... I got it for a really cheap price. Uh, I think I believe I got it for like 10 bucks or 15 bucks. It really wasn't much. So I was like, I right, I gotta grab it. But two, the game is so much fun. It's, it's a bad addiction just because you wanna keep drilling and drilling and drilling. And then you're like, oh man, I gotta just keep going. And like, it's it's just tons of fun. Um, it reminds me a lot of Bust to Move. And um, I've always loved Bust to Move. My favorite Bust to Move was on the Dreamcast. And uh, so this is definitely something I, I think is kind of similar, but um, I could take it on the go. And um, it was also, uh, I got this in the later of my Game Boy Advance collecting spree that I did. So that is my number four. My, sorry, num number five. My number four. I've got memories of this one. Mega Man 3 Blue Battle Network. Any Battle Network game I loved. It was so much fun. I loved the, the fights where you can use the cards and you can get close to your enemy to lay the card down. Or maybe the card will explode all of the uh, spaces that the enemy was on. It was so much fun to see. You know, just to... Uh, not categorize, but use your logic. What card is going to be best for X, Y, and Z? Or maybe on the battlefield, there's four or five of them. And then you're having to use, you know, all these additional, like, I used almost every card that I got um, when they gave it to you for the Mega Man Blue. And um, when I was a kid, oh, man, I, <laughs> now if you really want to go back, um, I used to have a blow-up couch in my bed. Not in my bed, in my bedroom, and um, I just played this for hours. I got lost in the sauce, man, and I never got out of it. But you know what? I appreciate it. Um, hopefully, anyone, you know, if you played Mega Man Battle Network, let me know. Like, you could just keep playing for hours, and when you're done, I've actually went back and played it again just because. You know, I was like, what could I have done differently that could have gotten me this fast or that fast or getting to the end? And it was and it was a great story, too. And I'm not much of a story guy. I'm all about the action. But that story right there was dreams. But you know, it's also dreams. My number three, Need for Speed Underground. I remember when I got this, I was blown away with the graphics just because it was a you know, those grainy, gritty 3D graphics um, that the Game Boy had at the time. But it was fun. And not only was it fun, it was actually usable. Because, you know, you've seen a lot of those uh, grainy 3D type games for the Game Boy Advance that wasn't that usable, that wasn't that, you know, friendly to use. This right here, I love the controls of the cars. I love the audio tracks. Oh my goodness, I was hooked. Yeah, you now when you hear the Get Low song, when you start it up, you're like, yeah, I'm in the zone now. So I love Need for Speed Underground. Um, I played the living poop out of it when I was a kid. And um, I just enjoyed it, you know. It was just something fun, something great. You know, the graphics was really good. The controls were really good. And I'm all about controls in a racing. If you got slippy controls for racing... That's just not much fun, unless if you're playing on ice or something. Now, that I understand, but, you know, I don't like slippy controls. But uh, with the Need for Speed Underground, the controls were great. And, um, yeah, I just kept I, I just kept racing. It was really, really fun. I really enjoyed it. So, number two is Sonic Advance. Now, this was almost one of, one of the first games that I got um, when I was a kid. And um, I remember playing it in eighth grade. Um, most of my friends had Game Boy Advances, and we always had that link cable. So uh, I played a lot of it. Now, uh, I love Sonic, and then seeing Sonic with Nintendo just didn't make any sense to me. But when I turned it on and began playing, you 
it, it just makes me go back to Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the game, on the uh, Genesis. And that's how it felt like, and it was just fun. Like, I love the controls, I love the graphics. Um, I know that they also did Sonic 2 and 3, but uh, I spent most of my time at the original one because um, it's just good time fun. It was Sonic 2 on the Genesis, just deja vu pretty much, but with, you know, a little slightly newer graphics and uh, good controls. So that is my number two, and... Um, yeah, I played this for weeks just because, uh, you know, back in the day uh, when we actually had physical media, um, you actually had to pay for games, and they were not that ex they were not that cheap. So um, I played it until you know I could afford to buy another one. So um, that was my Sonic Advance story, and uh, yeah, my all my friends played it, and I played it too, and that was cool because in eighth grade we all played almost the same, you know, games. We all played Sonic Advance, and then right afterwards, we all played, um, what was it? Advance Wars. I love Advance Wars, Advance Wars 2. That would be my honorable mention, because Advance Wars in 8th grade with my buddies, oh man, we got heated into it. But it was only good fun, you know, no one got like, you know, ah, you know, ripped the link cable out and just said, screw it, no, we... We all played, and hey, if you lost, we lost, or if you won, we won. But um, just a lot of good memories, you know, that, that makes me bring back. Now, the last one, my number one, and I know this might be weird for some, look at that. It is Warrior Rare Mega Micro Games. Oh, my goodness. So when Warrior Rare came out, I was hooked. I love the fast action. Hey, you got two seconds to do, uh, to do something, or not, you're going to lose a life type of thing. And it was nonstop, but it was fun. So I really liked Warrior Rare. Woo! Sorry, it's been a late night. <laughs> um, but what I like about the Warrior Rare is that it was portable. It was someplace, you know, like I could, because, you know, a lot of the times, uh, well, for me, I didn't have um, any other game system but the Game Boy Advance. So I just, that's all I could play. And, um,. When I actually saw the rear Warrior Rares, you know, uh, come out on, like, GameCube, and then see it here on uh, Game Boy Advance, it's just as good. You know, I actually prefer the Game Boy Advance one over the one, over the big system one. But um, I loved it just because I love quick thinking, quick action. Um, it's similar to, like, Mario Party games. You know, you got 30 seconds to do something or to try to defeat someone and whatnot. Warrior Rare felt something similar, and I loved the, um, they have one category that's like video game related, and you have to go fast, and I really, really enjoyed that, so it was all a fun game, so the reason why I didn't pick any Pokemon is just because um, no one really played Pokemon when I, when I had my Game Boy Advance, Every, everyone all, was already past that. So I just don't want to be the only one playing it, you know. Uh, with Cody, it was a different situation. But with me, when no one wants to play it, you know, you want to, you know, I guess, kind of be cool in school. So uh, I just played the ones that other people were playing. Or, you know, like the Mega Man Battle Network, uh, which I still love today. And um, I will, I can play all of these again and just, just have fun. But uh, I need more time, though. That would be nice. But anyways, what is your top five? I would love to know. Comment below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one now.